In this question, a uniform equilateral triangular plate of side B is suspended from three vertical wires of same length L. Determine the period of a small oscillations of the plate when A, uh, first part, it is rotated through a small angle about a vertical axis through its center of mass. And the next part is, it is given a small horizontal displacement in a direction perpendicular to AB. So in this two situations, so the first is the uh, plate is rotated about this vertical axis and the second is it is given some displacement, horizontal displacement perpendicular to this side AB. Okay, so let us uh, solve one by one. So in this diagram, this is the axis about which uh, this plate is rotated and initially all these forces are all the forces in the strings are equal and this forces must be equal to mg by 3 this is one third of the weight of this plate and now suppose this is rotated by a small angle theta so after rotation this a point will reach somewhere here which is a s and i can write the distance between this initial and final point which is a at s and this a at s is b by root 3 into theta okay and similarly this point b will move similarly this point c will move like this okay so and after uh, moving this is basically arc and but you know, this angle is this angle is very small angle and for very small angle i can approximate it, it to be a straight line and this straight line is, all, is almost almost in the same horizontal plane of the plate and now in this diagram i have shown this string okay suppose this is string this string will be now somewhere here like this okay so if i see from here you know, this string will look like this so i have shown one of the string which is connecting a and a similar thing will be for b and c here so this length is l and suppose this string is rotated by a very small angle phi and i can relate this phi and theta like this so this arc length can also be written as l phi and this l phi is equal to this b by root 3 into theta and from here i can write the phi now using phi i can find the component of this force f and uh, since this triangular plate is given a very very small rotation and for a very small rotation this force will almost uh, remain equal to mg by 3 its uh, earlier value so uh, there is uh, no significant change in the magnitude of f okay so f will almost almost remain the same okay since uh, this is rotated by a very small angle so tension in the bias uh, nearly remains constant and uh, this force has two components vertical component the uh, horizontal component and the horizontal component is uh, almost along this a at s okay so a at s is nearly horizontal so uh, now i will break f into two components so f sin theta and f cos theta and let's move further so this uh, sorry not theta it is phi so this is f sin phi i have rotated like this and if I rotate like this, this point will somewhere go like this. Okay, so it will move like this. And the tensions component F sin phi will be like this. Okay, so here it is like this. So it is opposing this kind of rotation. Okay, so here F sin phi will be like this. Here F sin phi will be like this. So you can see this is having some anti clockwise sense if this is having clockwise sense. So obviously, these three forces are producing the restoring torques. And what is the restoring torque? So I multiplied by 3 for 3 forces and one of the forces is sin phi and uh, we need this distance which is b by root 3 so this is b by root 3 so now you can find the restoring torque and this restoring torque is directly proportional to the rotation we have provided initially so this is uh, k theta and time period for this kind of angular oscillation angular SHM is 2 pi and the root moment of inertia divided by this SM constant which is k and this k is this whole thing mg b square by 3l and now we need to know the moment of inertia about this axis for this uh, triangular plate and this moment of inertia is mb square by 12 where b is the side of this uh, triangular plate so after putting the values you can get time period is equal to pi under root l by g so this is the answer and if you don't know how to find the moment of inertia of uh, this triangular plate so i have solved for moment of inertia at the end of this video so you can see that part if you don't know the moment of inertia of this triangular plate so now i'm uh, going for the part b now okay so in the part b uh, the plate is uh, slightly given horizontal dis a very small horizontal displacement perpendicular to one of the sides ab so this uh, i've shown this is a very small displacement this is x and this is moving by x and uh, obviously this c point will also move by x distance so x is a very small distance here and here the initial tensions are mg by 3 and tension will all go, uh, will almost remain the same because it is a very small displacement 
so the similar kind of diagram will drawn for c okay so c has moved by distance x so f has this horizontal component this is f sin theta and f sin theta so sin theta will be nearly theta and theta is x by l here so this is the force which is being produced at c okay so the string will become like this and this string has horizontal component and this will push it like this okay so c will tend to move in this direction it will accelerate and similar is the case at uh, point b and c as on this uh, top view so at c this is f sin theta at b also the similar thing and at a the similar thing is happening so the total restoring force will become 3 f sin theta so this is the restoring force and now you can put the value of f this is mg by 3 and sin theta is x by l and uh, now this is some uh, this is of the type f is equal to kx and the time period for this kind of SM is 2.2 m by q this is 2.2 l by g okay so this is the answer to this part now i am going for the moment of inertia calculation for the triangular plate for that you need to know the moment of inertia of, uh, of uh, uh, any shape of triangular plate this uh, need not be equilateral so it can be any shape so for any shape of tri uh, triangular plate uh, about base okay so you can uh, you should know this moment of inertia this is mh square by six where h is the uh, height of the vertex from this base okay height of this triangle about this base so this is mh square by six now i've uh, drawn the equilateral triangle in this equilateral triangle let's say the side is l so this is the center of mass, this is L by root 3 and this is L upon 2 root 3. I will apply the moment of inertia theorems like perpendicular axis theorem, parallel axis theorem. Okay. So I will calculate moment of inertia about 1 and this is the base axis and base axis is mh square by 6, so m. And this h is root 3 L by 2 which is written over here and this will become uh, ml square by 8. Okay. So about this axis which is ml square by 8. Uh, 2 2 is this axis okay so this axis is dividing into two parts and uh, about this axis uh, again i am using this i about the base so this will become base this will become base for this triangle and this triangle and both triangle will have the same moment of energy about this uh, axis so about this axis i have written for this one and now twice so twice of uh, uh, moment of energy of this triangle so this triangle will have mass obviously the m by 2 and m h square by 6 so m and what is the value of h h will be this l by 2 okay so this will be the h for this base so l by 2 square by 6 and uh, this is the moment of inertia of this part for that part also i have uh, multiplied by 2 so this will become ml, ml square by 24 so about this green two axis this is ml square by 24 now i know about this axis i know about this one number axis both are perpendicular and this is a planar body so i can apply perpendicular axis theorem so i can add this one and two to get this i3 so i3 is the addition of this two and it, i will get ml square by six so about this axis i know now these three axis and this axis is are parallel now and the distance is l by two root three between them so i can apply parallel axis theorem so this i3 is icm plus this one and now from here you can get this icm so this icm is ml square by 12 okay so we can remember this result okay so this result is very useful in many situations okay so ml square by 12 is the answer